Good day, everyone. Thanks for joining us here in the charts. Tune into the Market Beast edition. Fellow compadres speaking, of course. Today, we're going to take a look at SNDL, daily price prediction. We do this every single market day. Subscribe. You don't want to miss that. Hit the bell. So this way, you'll be notified in where we see the markets going before it makes a move. Of course, leave an appropriate thumb below the video and engage in the comment section, guys. It helps the channel, the YouTube algorithm. So let's get into this. Uh, looks like we're still within that range there that we predicted. Yes, good. Let's dive into the charts here, guys. Shall we? All right, so today is December the 7th, 2020. And the previous close of SNDL is going to be 0.6635, down about 14% for the day. Uh, Pre-market looks like it's down about 8.1% for the day. Got as low as like 56. I was watching it here. Okay, guys. So things are looking pretty interesting in the markets, to say the least. And we're still within this range. I guess let's start on the daily here. So we predicted, I think it was like November the 30th, that we should be within this range. Sorry if I say this a lot, guys. I sound like a broken record. But I just want to keep those who are just joining us uh, up to date. And, of course, click the videos if you see them popping up to stay uh, up to date and where we see the market's going. So 56, this green line down here, uh, 0.56 cents. We should be within this range for... I don't know how long it's been, maybe like six days now, maybe a few more days. Uh, the buyers and the sellers are just trying to solidify this range. Um, in the top line here, that red line is at about 85 cents. Excuse me. So I wouldn't be surprised if we found some sort of volatility within this range up and down or just a simple graceful, you know, landing pad down here at about 56 cents just to, you know, back test that previous level of so resistance, guys. And please, if you're entering the markets here, uh, don't say that, you know, Napoleon told me it was going to go down to 56 cents, so I'm going all in there to ride this thing to the upside. That's definitely not a good idea, guys. Although, I mean, I can't tell you what to do with your portfolios. Obviously, this isn't financial advice. Simple education and entertainment here. So please just have an entry and exit plan. If it goes down against you, be sure to know where to exit to protect yourself from more downward pressure. So, yeah, I don't want to go to rambling, guys. So let's just get into this 56 cents, 85 cents. Uh, let's just see how it responds to that 56 cent level. Uh, guys, I'm going to crank it up to the three day here. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the content so far. So this three day was the, the candle that I was not able to truly understand the direction. I'm still going to lean towards a little bit of downwards pressure. I mean, we still have about just over 24 hours to close on this candle. So, I mean, it, even though it's red now, it actually could still close green, right? The buyers can step in and push that price over. What is it like? Uh, 0.6967 and turn that candle green but i think it's, they're, it's just trying to back test some sort of support you know it was a really nice move to the upside extreme move sort of and they're, they're just trying to figure out some sort of if, if there's going to be enough buying interest in this market to hold this price up okay let's crank it up to the weekly this will be a short video guys so the one thing that i i truly want to emphasize guys because again i i know i've been emphasizing uh, 56 cents as potential it's for the previous level of resistance it could have support the weekly makes me concerned guys and the monthly as well but we're not going to talk about the monthly we'll save that for the next video the weekly this gaping hole down here in the price makes me a little concerned guys okay and remember I, if you do remember I said that I've seen this happen before and it didn't end well and I guess if I just explain to you what that means and I don't mean to just come in here just because it's a down day and say go over this. But let me just explain to you what happened when there was a gaping hole in the price on the weekly. And it was the weekly, if I remember correctly. So the price, it comes down, right? Maybe it gets a few bounces on that 56 cent level, but eventually it breaks down below that 56 cent level. And then it uh, it finds it as resistance. And the, the when I seen this before, it wasn't like it wasn't like below a dollar. It was maybe I think like three to five dollars, something like that. But I just want to show you the pattern, the way that the price behaved when there was a gaping hole below the weekly uh, candles. OK, it eventually it definitely took out the the entire uh, gaping hole or the gap. Let's just say gap. I don't want to sound like that. Um, it took care of that uh, gap in the price. And it had a small bounce and it actually went lower. OK, and it just continued lower to find support uh, wherever that support level will be at this point. I'm not sure, guys, because I think, as I mentioned before, I know people don't like well, probably disagree when I say this, but this is just the charts showing me the data here, guys. I'm just going by what I'm seeing here. So 25 cents up to 56 cents would be the range if the 56 cent level 
uh, is compromised. And we did recently come out with a video saying, you know, what when will SNDL go to one dollar? And we did entertain the fact that there could be potential resistance right here at about 46 cents. Um, obviously, that um, that's speculation. It's not guaranteed. If it does happen, that's fine, guys. That'd be a very beautiful landing pad for the price to come down and find support and bounce and revisit the 85 cent level, whether that's going to be a breach or test here in the short term. But I truly want everybody to be just be open to anything to happen in this asset. So that's what I'm going to say about that, guys. So let's keep an eye on this uh, gap, this gap down in the price on the weekly chart here, the weekly candles. So that's what I'm going to say about that. But the 56 cent level is, the, is a level for me, guys. If the price loses that level, I mean, we'll be subjected to any price targets between 25 cents up to 56 cents. I'm just a messenger. That's all I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, um, and engage in the comment section, guys. Let us know where do you think the price is going in S and D over the next week or two. Uh, did you buy up in the in the run up at about eighty cents or like seventy cents? Do you feel like you're holding it back, guys? I cannot give you financial information. I get comments often that what should I do? I can only provide the support, resistance, resistance, and support levels, guys. You should be selling into the previous level of uh, support that should act as resistance and you should scale into or nibble on the uh, previous level of resistance as the price comes back down it could act as a launching pad so that's 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 all i can give you guys guys i can't tell you what to do with your portfolios fortunately so yeah guys just have a plan that's all i got for you guys thanks for joining me i truly appreciate your time we're going to talk very soon on tomorrow's update bye for now and take care